It's so green here. Oh, this is the best welcome home I could possibly ask for. Thank you, trees. Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> After our month-long vacation, uh, traveling all over the country, actually, flying from coast to Midwest to other parts of the country, I have now visited family on both sides, and we have returned from our epic journey with some exciting news, the first of which being that I am finally back, which is really exciting because I have missed you guys so much. I have missed telling stories. Every day has felt like there's just a little bit of special color that usually brightens up my life that's been leached away because I cannot dive into zoo crafting or ride my horses in Star Stable or be able to build stories with you guys in niche and it was really fun to be on vacation and realize I missed you guys so much and I'll get to where the videos are and what we're gonna be doing and why there were not as many videos as I thought uh, there would be later but I also have another very 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 important announcement to share with you guys I saw Dixie <laughs> Dixie is the baby giraffe at the Kansas City Zoo that I was so excited to go see. She has actually been our little, you guys know Dixie. If you guys have been following the zoo crafting streams that we do every now and then, then you know Dixie because she's the book. She's the little, little giraffe. That one. That one. I'm sure I triggered her memory for some of you or maybe traumatized others. Apologies. But yeah, she's the little giraffe who sticks her tongue out and I have the adorable little gif of her. And she is just the cutest thing. She is even cuter in real life as a two-month-old baby giraffe wandering around after her mom and the rest of the herd than I thought baby giraffes could be. I thought I loved giraffes as much as I possibly could already. I have giraffe swag absolutely everywhere. I am pretty good on giraffes. I have a giraffe teacup right over here. It's literally a giraffe. You see? Literally a giraffe and green. I really scored on that one. Yes, favorite things combined in one. I've got giraffe washi tape over here. I thought I loved giraffes as much as I could already love giraffes. And then I saw Baby Dixie. If you are anywhere near the Kansas City Zoo, go see that baby. She's the cutest thing. And if you cannot go, don't worry. I'm actually going to show some video of little baby Dixie at the end of this video because that was truly one of the highlights of my trip. So we had a really great time and there were not as many videos as I hoped to be able to make with you guys. I hauled my entire recording setup, my very, very heavy laptop, my very heavy mic, all of the other gear that I needed to be able to record anywhere in the world with me in a bag that I'm pretty sure threw my back out hauling around the place because it was so heavy. And I kind of conveniently forgot, when you have a packed social calendar of going on hikes in the North Carolina mountains, making delicious vegan dinners with one half of the family, flying to the other side of the country and suddenly entertaining your number one fan in the world who's an eight-year-old nieceling who's very hyper and really excited to see Auntie, you kind of don't really have a lot of time in there to sit down for hours of uninterrupted recording. And, and then there just comes a point somewhere between playing Overcooked with one little brother and talking with the other little brother and his wife and the, the niece and, and the visits and then people who are like, oh, you're in town, cool, I'll drive in from two hours away and come see you. And it just didn't happen. <laughs> So I apologize for that because I did reassure everybody before I left, yeah, there'll be videos, there'll be videos. And I worked really hard at bringing everything with me. But going on a big family trip like that, uh, once we were there, I realized the whole point was to be with family. And I have to say thank you guys so much for the continued support on all of our other videos with an archive of 6,100 videos. I hope that there's something new and entertaining for you every day, no matter if you're into the serious Sims stories, there's a bit of a pun there, uh, anyway, or if you're into some of the niche episodes, we've had some newer ones, we have 
three or four hundred old ones. We have a lot in our archive, in our library, and I just wanted to say a very deep and quick thank you to all of you who did want to see some stuff and remembered the archive and remembered the very nifty of random video generator that could pop up anything. It's like a beautiful librarian in a button who can who can say, oh, I can recommend something new for you today. I love that random video generator. I don't even remember some of the series that I've done and when I use it, I get to see them again so it's really fun anyway thank you so much for utilizing those things and for giving me time with family and I really hope that you guys will remember me saying gosh workaholic me who loves what I do took time with family and came away really happy and grateful for it and one day you can go forward and you can try to give yourself that time that's so important too so thank you so much for that uh, and I am back now so <laughs> those of you who are who are twisting in pretzels wondering where Star Stable and everything else is need not worry much longer we will be getting into a flow for summer and that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you guys about a little bit in this video is I've been promising and all of the updates streams we've done for so many months that we would finally talk about what what is it that you're interested in my friends what is it let me know in these comments what you're missing uh, what you really want to see I already have some really solid ideas for our lineup for summer a lot of you guys have wanted to see summer in space return and I'm just thinking you know that full subnautica thing did come out I do love spore I'm sure there's some other things I've never even poked starbound at least recording it oh I may have played it on my own oh dear I very rarely do that um, some of you guys are desperate to see Dragon Veil world return or app ventures I can't do everything that's another important conclusion that I have come to on the trip but we have years of adventure ahead together so yeah this is the video this is it the, the floodgates of permission to ask me where wolf quest is and warrior cats has been opened uh so just let me know kindly in the comments what you're looking forward to and you will help shape the future of our summer there's some big things coming out this summer there's some fun things coming out that are came like that have come out that are gonna come out apparently there is a huge announcement about sims 4 coming out tomorrow so there's probably gonna be a reaction trailer to what i hope is possibly seasons or i don't know um farming i'll take chickens i saw so many chickens on this trip and i was a very happy camper but i'll save all those stories for the vlog channel anyway this is the video where I just wanted to announce like, I'm back! I had a great time! I've got giraffe swag! I'm gonna show you guys my giraffe swag and I really hope that you can feel comfortable coming forward and being like, man Siri, I'm really looking forward to this or this or this and I can't do everything so it's, I'm not promising I'm being able to make those but this will be that very special moment where we get to work together and kind of start looking at the, the shape of our summer. Right now I'm really thinking strongly about trying to bring back some of our harder core role-playing series. Uh, I'm really going to be working hard just to let those of you younger and older know to try to find a way to take a little bit more time and kind of polish up just a little bit that, that kind of like pride of a creator in a few of our series. So you may see some series kind of uh, slow down a little bit in terms of like not releasing every single day because I'm working on I'm working on the good stuff and the good stuff takes a lot of effort and a lot of writing and a lot of you guys who pay attention probably know what series I'm talking about so I'm not gonna say it just yet because I don't want to make promises but I realized on the trip um, when I thought about like Oh, what have I done? Who is Siri the pixel biologist? Especially when I was bumping into random people that were like old family members, friends. I met like everybody I went to high school with when I went back and I'm looking around like, didn't we all move away? Why is everybody still here? How is this happening? Why are we sitting in this diner eating lunch together? Why are there more people? Like people would walk by. I've never had that experience sitting down, like minding my own beeswax, looking over. It's like, oh, somebody at the window who I went to high school with and it's like dude like come on in and suddenly the whole place was full of people that somehow we all knew each other that was really cool um and i just mentioned that because uh, it was such a cool trip guys and i'll tell you guys more about that on the vlog channel but when you're meeting with all those people and they're asking so what do you do and i'm like i make youtube videos I realized with 6,000 YouTube videos, I need to just kind of pick some of my favorites to tell everybody about. And I was really impressed that 
I love all of the adventures we've gone on, but it was a very awe-inspiring kind of like ah, sort of eureka moment to realize that things like warrior cats, zoo crafting, uh, polishing up the better side of dog quests and really like pushing against the way none of the jogs are generating for me in that world yet. Being able to kind of invest in our sims, those kinds of role-playing stories really mean a lot to me. So I just wanted to tell those of you who are into those kinds of stories that I'm looking at them. I plan on being a lot firmer on pacing myself on them and trying to make them appear uh, and doing good diligent work on them. So I just wanted to mention that because yeah, when I had to tell all these strangers like, so what do I do? I'm like, I play Slime Rancher. <laughs> Is that cool? Does that work? <laughs> um, it, I realized that the things that if I had to brag about our community and what we've done were are those kinds of more story based stuff and uh, that doesn't mean like the other stuff do isn't going to appear. There's definitely a time and place for that too and it's it's really just fun and anyway as you can tell, I had to explain who I am and what I did to a lot of people, so I'm still kind of in that place of thinking about it. But yeah, so stories will be coming, but so will Slime Rancher, because now there's like a party mode, and then City Skylines is about to update with the zoo, and there was drafts, and that's all I need to know about it. So I won't ramble on about this any longer, but I know the last few months have been kind of bumpy as I've been chasing after one thing or another and trying to figure out who is Siri? What am I doing? And somehow this trip where I didn't get to do any of the things that make me Siri helped me realize A, how much I love giraffes, B, how humble and blown away and lucky I am to be able to do this with all of you and how grateful I am for all of you. I I think I, it was so funny because so often while I was talking with everybody I would be like yeah there's this one space Dorito who's super nice to everybody in the comments and there's this one really awesome woman who like she and her mom have been watching for years and like their grandparents and it, it, it just it was so fun because I realized I didn't really want to talk about so much like what I have done. I wanted to talk about like the people I've met in our community and on our Discord and on our Patreon. And I wanted to talk about the stories we've told together or the hilarious streams we've had. And so yeah, thank you guys. I know I've been away for a long time, but I promise you I was thinking about you the whole time. <laughs> and uh, I hope you'll enjoy the Dixie video. So I am still kind of feeling out where we're gonna go for the summer and that is where you guys can come in and let me know what you're looking forward to and if you have your eye on uh, any new games that are possibly coming out or older ones like my time at Portia uh, Port Portia mm, I hope I said that right uh, there's other games that have come out Battle Chef Brigade I mean we play the whole range but if it has a giraffe it's more likely to catch my attention just just to let you know so yeah let me know and we're gonna shape the summer together and I'm really excited about that. Uh, I'll ramble on more about like the lessons I realized trying to explain what I do to a bunch of people <laughs> and begging them. Uh, we'll talk about that part later. Uh, anyway, so I promised you a baby giraffe. So excited to see you guys. We're here. I'm going to show off my, my giraffe swag, my new giraffe swag, really quickly. And in the video with a little pinch of Dixie, which I hope you guys will enjoy. She is a two-month-old baby giraffe at the Kansas City Zoo. I will have a better vlog, possibly a wild discoveries video on this channel or on the vlog channel, depending on how much I recorded. Uh, that will be of Chips and I's trip to the zoo. Oh, and really quickly, I wanted to say a little shout out to Haley. Hello, Haley and your cousin, who actually found me in the middle of the mountains hiking which is a little amazing so yeah i was out in the wild and a lot of y'all might have had a chance to actually see me and one young girl and her cousin uh, did actually manage to find chips and i while we were hiking in the mountains so i wanted to say hello to you again i know that you felt you were a little too shy to run up to me at that point but i'm very happy to have heard the report later from your mom that uh you were actually hunting for chipmunks and i noticed you so that was really cool guys i mean if you want to find a wild siri Surrounded by greenery as much as I love to be and leaves and everything. Nobody found me in the big city. Nobody even found me at the zoo. But somebody found me in the middle of the mountains in the middle of North Carolina on a trail, which is kind of amazing. So a little shout out to you, my dear. All right, so 
I'll show you guys Dixie in a second. Make sure you let me know just kindly in your comments. And you know, if you don't really have a preference, if you're just along for the ride, that's totally cool too. And remember, this isn't a promise to create the videos that you guys suggest. This is just really gonna help me kind of shape where we're gonna go for the summer. You may also notice some other things coming up, but I'll talk about that on the vlog channel. I'm gonna give everything away, yee! Okay, Dixie bag, so cute, I freaking love her. It was really hard to choose my Dixie swag, but I wanted something that also says, uh, right over here, look at that, preserve and protect, because giraffes are actually nose diving down onto the endangered species list pretty quickly. Uh, a lot of them, I think they have lost, I read, was it 90? Either, a lot of their percentage has dive bombed lately. Uh, speaking of which, I'm feeling it guys. The pixel biologist side of me is really activated and we're gonna be talking about animals and animal facts in hopefully a fun and entertaining way as time goes on. Again, a little bit more hardcore rambling. Just so happy to see you guys again. Chips helped me pick out this lovely giraffe plate while we were at the Kansas City Zoo. It is going to be in the background of my videos. You will be able to see it later. And then I found this cute little one who reminded me so much of Dixie, you guys. It is the cutest little thing. Look at that. So I found that uh, while we were in the Kansas City Zoo too and I got Chips a red panda version to match. And then my sister... <laughs> My sister who I visited with and we had a great time running around Kansas City surrounded by thousands of school groups I learned there's a time and a place to go to a zoo and while the entire Contents of Kansas City school district is going to the zoo. That's not the time to go to the zoo <laughs> To the record, but my sister got me this adorable giraffe that she and my brother-in-law picked out it is very cute It's a little wooden giraffe that falls down, which is a little alarming, but don't worry it pops right back up and we also got, let's see, is that all my giraffe swag? I had a lot more giraffes in my head than I had in my hands. But my sister also got me this adorable little alpaca slash llama eraser pencil, which is really fun. This is a shout out for, oh, I won't focus at all, that's okay. This is a shout out for our patrons because in the Discord we have a running joke that we say alpaca to everyone as a way of saying hello or goodbye or really anything. It's like our form of aloha, which is really cool. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I will show a little bit of Dixie to you. You know what to do in the comments and hopefully I will have some vlogs up soon of the adventures we had in the mountains and just some of the really amazing, really heart transforming lessons that I learned this round visiting both sides of our family and uh, some of the, the, the fun and serious things that happened while we were gone. And I'm really looking forward to spending my summer with all of you.